Blues fans 2v Chelsea 0, Manchester United 2. What's, what's with our home record this season? It's mad. I don't know. I, I've, got, I've got absolutely no idea. Um, we were shit today. Um, actually, before I say we were shit, there were three people I would like to highlight. Pedro ran his arse off. Didn't necessarily do anything, but he ran his arse off. Deserves credit for that. Mounted incredibly well to come on 10 minutes into the game. And actually, was probably one of the best players on the pitch, I thought. And Kovacic, none of them were all round perfect, but just three people I want to highlight before. I'd I... like to add Reese James and... Uh... Yeah. Mm, yeah. I, I, the only thing I'd say about Reese James is that he come inside a handful of times and lost the ball and then left us exposed on the right-hand side. But again, he's young. That's... That, that, you learn that over time. It's not a big deal. But um, we were shit. But the, but the problem was, Man United were shit and all. We've played them three... We, we you know. played them three times this year and they have not been the better team How in any single one of the games. have we not beaten Ole yet? We played them three times this year. We lost every single fucking one and we were better team for the first half an hour in every single game. Every single game. We went to Old Trafford, yeah, it all went sideways, we lost 4-0, it's part of what it is. But actually, phenomenally good performance, I thought, that day. I thought we played really well and we showed real signs of courage. 4-0? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 thought we were, I thought we showed real signs of courage. Then you've got the League Cup game, neither team was fucking good in that, but we probably had the better of the chances. And today, we had fucking sitters on a plate, two I think, in fact, for Batshuayi, and he didn't fucking bury either. No, it was an actual zero out of ten today. He was. I. I. I like the guy, and he'll go down to Chelsea legend because he scored the goal that won us the league at West Brom. But he's shit. I'm sorry, he's shit. Not even I, 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 well, it's, he's going to go down and be remembered. That's it. That's all he's going to be. Bat shit. Right, Bat shit. shit. He's got one good game in, in the blue moon. He, that's that's it. And to be honest with you, for what we're getting and what we're starting and lacking in Giroud. We should still be playing Giroud. Maybe he can't move so as well. Still got more to his game, Thank it? you. Did anyone notice that Giroud was on the pitch for five minutes and put the ball in the back of the net? Granted, it was offside. But did anyone see that he was more dangerous in five minutes than Batship was in 60? Granted, put the ball in the net. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. It, it's fucking ludicrous. Yeah, I, I don't know why I don't trust him, but he should. And uh, for the Spurs game on Saturday, Saturday, is it? Yeah. He should play Giroud. Hands down. I'll be honest with you, I don't really want to say back shit pull on the Chelsea shirt again. To be complete to be completely honest, he's a good option to have off the bench, but he's nowhere near the what we need at this club. He should be one of the first people to be sold in the summer, and I'm not gonna put it all on him because this is not a one hundred percent hate against bat shit. But he was far from good enough, and he has been far from good enough for a good while. I like the guy, he's gonna go down and be remembered, but he's not good. He's not good. That's it. I'm so I hate to say it, but that's it. People that need to step up the game, William did fucking nothing today. Them crosses what, again. What was the fucking point? Every time we won a fucking corner, we gave the ball back. Last corner FC as usual. Fucking load of shit. I'm sorry, and, and people keep giving me a load of abuse, especially online. I don't rate him. I don't rate him. He comes out of the world work every now and again, but I do not rate him. He'll probably go and put on a great performance against Spurs. He probably will, but I don't rate him. It, 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 he's done. He's done in my eyes. I wouldn't give him a new contract. I'll be honest, I would have sold him in January. We won't get any money for him now. Just let him go. And this probably sounds like I'm turning into a rant and it's a hate video against many, many players. This whole fucking team needs a huge turnaround. It's just calling as we see it here. A huge turnaround. Everything needs to change. We've got some good players. We've got some academy prospects. The best spell we had all season was when we played a load of youngsters together. That was what the best part of the season we had. You had Barkley and Mount and Tammy all kind of linking in together. It was great. Now you've got about three youngsters who want to play one way and you've got all the old people that want to go and play a different way. You've got Dave playing at left back who can't fucking cross a ball with his left foot. He can't even make a pass with his left foot. I like the guy, Chelsea legend, but if you can't fucking whip a ball in, what's the fucking point? What is the point of having him there? You might as well play Emerson or Alonso. If one ball in a fucking million works, it's fucking worthwhile. And Giroud or Batshit or whoever it is can put it in the back of the net. But Dave, you don't beat the first man. And if you do, you get the second man. That's it. And we ain't good enough. We are not good enough overall. We're not playing a good style of football. We need to commit to one or the other. And personally, I play all the kids. I personally play all the kids and see how it goes. If I'm wrong, hey, we fucking tried it. We gave it a go. But currently, we're in the mix of two teams. If you want to see a load of youth players go out and give a shit, we can get that every single week. If you want to see a couple of people that maybe are has or don't fit in Lampard's team, you want to go and see steps for next year, play kids. You want to see steps of last year, play all the older players.